This is Otabu. We are made in Africa. was slow and definitely painful. Whatever killed him had a time in the whole world. Two seconds ago, you came to call from our job. You said you had something. Cause of death is by intake. So I'm still thinking how she got in, and I'll continue to think until I found out. <laughs> yes, but you do understand that we have a job and an investigation to carry out, and none of that can be compromised or restricted in any way. I remember. But you said you were going to bring in the documents for me to re-examine. We cross-examined the body and there was no evidence of anything being injected. So we took one final road. And yet... Forgive me for I have sinned. Confess your sins, my child. All sins are equal in the eyes of God. There is not one, no sin that can't be forgiven. Forgive me, Father, for I have killed a man. I, I recognize his voice. You were here a few days ago. You just killed a man a day before. Yes. Yes, Father, I did. And I will kill more until I kill them all. <sighs> This is wrong. May God have mercy on your soul. Amen. Amen, Father. You know, I really needed that prayer. Look, 
you know you don't have to do this. Just talk to God, confess your sins, repent. You don't have to do this. No matter what you do, no matter the sin you've committed, confess your sins and come to repentance and God will give you a new lease of life. I see. Well, why do I have to stop, Father? I mean, all I have to do is just kill and, and I kill again and I confess my sins and I'm forgiven. Right? I mean, God will forgive us no matter what we do and how many times we do it. So why do I have to stop? This is wrong, you know. You see, Father, the church has become a refuge for liars, thieves, corrupt politicians, prostitutes, and all these evil people. They carry out their mission on a daily basis, and then they come to pay their tithes and offerings. And then we have you prophets, priests, pastors. Instead of telling them to turn their back with their evil offerings and tithes. No. <laughs> what do you do? You accept these evil people's money. And you put them on the front pew of your church. You make them elders, Father. You pray for them and make them think they have a place in the kingdom of God by just what? Confessing their sins. <laughs> so tell me. Why am I different? <sighs> this is wrong, you know. Tell me why I'm different, Father. Well, this is God's house and everyone is welcome. And so am I. Okay, it, Father, lest I forget. You see, I brought my offering and tithes to you. It's on the altar. So you see, I'm not different. I'm not different. You know, this is wrong. How can I help you? There's just, just one thing you can do, and I will stop, I will give myself up to the law. And what will that be, my child? I'll tell you. You will come in front of the church and tell the church the sins committed by these men you put in the front pew of your church. You will tell the world the gravity of the sins committed by these men. And you will let them know that they will surely pay for their sins. I can't do that. Every confession is between the confessor, God, and myself. I can't do that. I'm in no position to judge anybody. I just can't do that. I'm sorry. It's against the church. I, okay, so, Father, there are sins that stay with you, right? Father? Right? It's against the church. Oh, and ask Father, God for forgiveness. Please. It means my sins are safe with you too. You know what I'm going to do? I will kill them one after the other. I will take them all out. And guess what? You cannot do anything about it. You know why? You know why, Father? Because it's against the church. You really need to stop. I will. After I'm done. Goodbye, Father. My child, come back. Let, let's talk. You don't need to go.
Hey, Prince Charming. I can call you Prince Charming, right? Mm. Mm. So what we got? We have come. So, unlike the previous victim, this one is more explainable. Mm. Autopsy shows that cause of death is by poison. Same as the last one, but different method. The last one was by intake, but we didn't find anything in the mouth of this one. So I looked properly. Come on. And then it was at a spot, but I found it right here. Come on. You see? At spot. So I got it. So were you trying to say it was injected into him? And uh, was there any sign of struggle? Because I don't think the victims would have given in that easily. No sign of struggle. Bones are fine, no fracture. Mm. Only thing on the body was the needle point at the back of his neck. I still do not think these victims gave up the death that easily. Mm, I don't think so. It's not possible. Oh, mm. I don't know anything about that, but... Oh, before I forget. Rose flower, same trademark as the last one. Same poison, same killer. Same killer? Hmm. Well, looks like we've got a lot of work to do. Uh, thank you, Cynthia. Be sure to send all the information. I already did. Up. It's on the way to your office. I'm sure it'll be on your desk by the time you get there. Bye-bye. Okay. Thank, thank, you. thank you. Thank you, Cynthia. Shoo -shoo. She's so weird. She's weird. So it's just the border bus now, Prince Charming. I'm sure you like Prince Charming, right? So where were we before they interrupted us? Good morning, madam. Please let me put this on my desk. Anybody ever say good morning in this office? <laughs> what the hell? Well, come to think of it, is there anything good about the mornings in this office? All we do every day is this body or that body, this case or that case, and I'm sick of it. I guess we are who we are. Come in, both of you. In less than two weeks, two bodies, one killer. Two bodies, one killer, same poison. Can someone please explain to me what is going on? Simon? Mom, um, Becca will speak for the team. Oh, Rebecca, you speak for the team now. So please, can you explain to me what is going on? Well, boss, I think we're dealing with a major issue here, so... That's I know. You haven't answered my question. What is going on? Boss, you see... Boss, what... actually, what she's trying to say is we don't have answers yet. I mean, we don't have an explanation yet. Just like the brief says on your table, ma. We had the first body, we were working on the answers, and then voila, the second body shows up. Now we have two bodies, killed the same way, same poison, but the killer still remains a question mark. Those are the answers what we're actually trying to find right now, but if that's what you're asking about, ma, we, we have no answers, at least not right now. 
still, we're still working on it. You don't have answers for me right now. Ma, boss, all I'm trying to say is we need a little more time to just fill in the blank spaces. And as soon as we do, we would have it on your table as soon as possible. Well, I suggest that both of you should fill in those blank spaces as soon as possible. Yes, ma'am. Because if you don't, trust me, not just her, but the both of you will be answering for the team. Have I made myself clear? And I want a complete update of this investigation. Have I made myself clear? Yes, boss. Out yes, of boss. my office. Thank you, ma. On behalf of the team. Hey, out. Becca! What was that about? What was what about? Why did you have to make me look like a fool in front of her? Come on now, you know I wouldn't want to do that. Are you kidding me? I mean, I, I wanted you to actually do the whole speech thing, but you wouldn't just come through, so I had to come and save the day. It's not my fault. I actually did it for us, the team. Mm. You did it for the team. Well, answer me this. Did this your act of heroism, your Mr. Safe Day action, did it save us or put us into more problems? Well, let me answer that for you. No, it did not. It only put us into more trouble, more pressure. And if we don't deliver, Miss Kuku will have our balls for breakfast. So no, that speech of yours did not make you a hero. It only makes you a jerk, honey. Really? I really don't understand why you're so mad, Becca. At least just wait for me. Come on now. Becca. Becca. Save it, Simon. I don't want to hear Becca. it. I didn't mean it that way. Look, Becca, the fact that I don't let things get to me doesn't mean I don't take things seriously. I mean, it really worries me too, Becca. I'm worried. Is this what we have to do every day? Over and over again? Like, solve cases and find killers? Look at this, it drives me crazy, it drives me nuts. Like, I can't even sleep, I can't go to sleep without taking alcohol to knock me out at night. Simon. Becca, just wait, I'm not done, just listen to me. Like, I ask myself every time, is this what life is about? I feel nothing, Becca. I don't even know what to do anymore. Like, this job is driving me crazy. I've seen so much. Like, Becca, do you want to know the truth? Becca, losing you was one of the biggest failures of my entire career. It was the biggest mistake of my life. And do you want to know what my biggest fear is? I might never have a chance of getting you back in my life. Shame, mate. I don't know. But it was you. It was you that blew us apart. No but one else. I know you I blew us apart, Becca. But I would give up anything in this life just to have you back. I don't care about this job. I'm only here because of you. Simon. I can't do this. I really can't. And th this job that you don't care about is the only thing that you're good at. So my advice to you, don't give up on your job. I have, to, I have to leave, so. Becca. I have to. Come on, Becca, just talk to me.
Shala, don't mind your dad. Now, what puts these two people together is that Barista Keji is also the legal representative for Nectar Oil. Do you see where I'm coming from? Now, that is also established. I'll see. Let me show you something. Oh, that should have mattered that I love you. Sorry, please. And all this time, I thought it was something I did wrong. <laughs> ah!